Yeah, dude, we're gonna make, I'm gonna start working on YouTube videos, man. I'm fuck it, dude. I'm gonna be bored. I wanna piss people off. I wanna be lame. And what better way to start with the Guilty Gear Strive open beta survey? So, um, like I said, the beta was out like last week, right? Or, I mean, a couple days ago. And that shit was mad fun, man. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I had a lot of fun. Um, but we'll get into that later. We'll talk about our, like, my personal thoughts and shit about it. And uh, maybe we'll get into your thoughts. But anyway, so like I said, Guilty Gear Strive open beta survey. Thank you for participating in the Guilty Gear Strive open beta. To improve the quality of the final release, we ask that you fill out the following survey. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. 35 questions. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, agree to sell my soul and credit card information to Arc System. Okay. Next. How would you best describe your gender identity? Male, female, non-binary. Prefer to self-describe. Prefer not to answer. Well, you know, since I am all that is man and I am made of proportions of Michelangelo's David, I am a male. What age do you fall under? 18 and under. Nice. 18 to 25. Nice. Um... How old am I? I'm like right here, right? I'm, I think I'm 33. I, I believe I'm 33. I think I'm 33. Yeah, I'm 33. I'm old. Fuck you. In what country do you live? America. God's country. I'm joking. Um, where is America? United States of America. That is me. All right, Guilty Gear Strive. Okay, please select the modes you played in the Guilty Gear Strive beta. Is there? Was there a quick match mode? We're just mostly in online lobbies, right? And then training mode. I don't, that's all I think that's all I did. Alright. Next. Please rate the following modes of Guilty Gear Strive Beta. Um So <laughs> Network Net can't talk. Network mode, online lobby. Very good, good, average, bad, very bad. So when it says the network mode, is it talking about how the lobby was or how or you know or how it worked as a lot? Um I think I get it. I think it was, it wasn't good. It wasn't very good. I think, mm, I think it was bad, right? I think everyone's complaining about the lobbies, right? I feel like it's so cluttered. It looks stupid. It's just, I don't, it's so weird, man. And it like glitches out, it teleports you. I don't know like how they, everything they did before like Strive was so cool and good looking, right? Like the Dragon Ball lobbies were sick. Um, the Zerd, the Blast Blue, the the Grand Blue, where like you can find the cabinets and walk around. But this one's so cluttered. Like thirty people in one of those like two D rooms. That thing sounds so like it's it's so ridiculous, right? I don't like it, man. I don't like it. I think it's bad. I think it's very bad, right? <laughs> um. I'm pretty sure the training mode when the game fully comes out is gonna be very good because already looking at the menu it looks like you can already it's like a, a it, it looks like a training mode option right where it shows like you can excuse me i mean it looks good right it, it gives you the options to like you know what moves record all that shit it does everything but i feel like i just feel like i, I have nothing i'm not really a training mode monster anyway so when i do training mode i usually just don't fuck with the counter or like I usually just fuck with counter hits jumping I'm like I never really I guess until now like in, back in the day I didn't really give a fuck I wasn't really a training room monster but I guess when Tekken 7 came out and the frame data app thing came out um I, that's when I really started getting the training mode and like learning how to do all that shit so um I think I think it's not that bad I think it was very I think it's good it's probably get better right like I said I think it's I mean it's just a beta I mean they're gonna look at this and hopefully fix everything but then again, that's why you have you guys who played the Strive beta or didn't play the beta, you still have to do the survey. Because they might, I don't know if they're going to look at it, but I don't know. I don't know. Please rate the following aspects of the Guilty Gear Strive open beta. Character visuals. I think the character visuals are fucking awesome. I have no problem with the character visuals. The game is fucking beautiful. Um, it looks, It's ridiculous, man. If anything, it's too good. It's so bad that it's good. I'm just joking. No, it's, it's fucking awesome. It's a beautiful fucking game, man. And it's like, they didn't give us all the levels either. And there's only going to be more to the game. You know what I mean? I think that they're only going to add more to the game. Um, character animations. 
I, nothing was wacky. Everything looked like Guilty Gear, man. Like all the characters, at least all like the the old characters, like all the the moves that they kept on to looked the same. Nothing, nothing looked bad. It, it looked very good, man. I can't think of any moves that looked fucking crazy, man. That uh, um, was, character animations are awesome. Stage graphics, I think, are awesome. Nothing too much going on in the scene. Well, then again, I only played like two like levels, like the fucking the Buddha statues in the forest, but. That shit looked fucking badass, man. Like the game, it, the the stages look very well done, and they're only gonna add more round start windscreen visuals. Okay, so this is like I don't <sighs> see. This is fucked up because I feel like round start and windscreen visuals should be different. Cause I don't like I don't like the round start visuals because um I don't know, man. The bird is kind of funny, right? I might say average because I don't like the bird. I can't. I just want them to go straight up the character like fucking Kai walking, you know, Johnny walking, tipping his head. You know what I mean? So I guess it was average, right? I don't know. Screen visuals, but the windscreen videos are cool. Guilty Gear always had cool uh, round start, like, like uh, openers and intros and outros. But I think the eagle, the eagle is pretty weird. It's not bad though. It's not very bad and it's not bad. So it's like it's it's like all right. I think it's average. It's average. Visual direction of the camera movement. I have nothing wrong the camera. The camera feels the same like in the, all the other Guilty Gears. Um, I'll just put good because I don't want to put like very good on everything. Um, the only thing that's like wacky to me, but I have no problem with it, is when you do the stage transition and it does like the weird 3D thing. Like that's the only thing that's like, what the hell is going on? But it's not like horrible. It's not like, oh man, this sucks dick. So no, I, I don't mind it. I can't think of like any. There's like none, none of the moves really like fuck the camera up or anything. Battle effects. What's, what's the battle effects? Are the battle effects the like the hit animations and the the counter, 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 like all that shit, like the counter. Excuse me, counter thing. Hmm. Uh, good. Battle system. Battle system. I don't mind the battle system. Don't mind them. The battle system is the UI, right? I don't have a problem with the UI. I honestly do not have a problem with the ui the only thing that i have a problem with is the burst meter and this is why because in the burst meters in the last uh guilty gears they were like you knew when you had burst and you and you knew when you didn't have burst right because the burst when your meter felt like it said burst like a bit like pretty much it was it said it said burst and then like you know it was filled up but when it was filled up, it was like glowing and like you can see it in the corner of your eye. But with this one, it's like a it's like that little blue meter. And when it's full, it doesn't really look like, you know, I don't know. It's just for me, the burst like meter could be better. That's just me. That's just me. Um, So it's for me, it's hard to tell if it's full or not. That's just me. But besides that, I know a lot of people were complaining about the UI and everything, but I don't have a problem with it. I like it. It's like plain and simple. I like it, man. You know, it's simple and clean, man. It's, it's the way it's making me feel tonight. Uh, the sound, the background music, um, listening. <laughs> I have, I think we all know jukebox is coming, right? We all know jukebox is coming. And I can honestly say I have no problem with the background music. I didn't even realize that I was like, uh, was it the, I don't know how to say his name, but the not, uh, Naga Yuruki. I didn't know for like, only like four songs were on the game, right? But for pretty much i've never heard anything except for his theme song and in the end i thought i was gonna be annoyed by it but i i don't mind his theme song i don't mind the music man and the thing is is maybe that's me just knowing that there's gonna be a jukebox mode where you're gonna have to worry about the shitty new soundtrack like i out of all the guilty gears i do feel like this is the shittiest soundtrack um but i mean all the like i, I still like the music it's cool but i still think it's like like the shittiest like it's so it's man i can go on and on about this one because in the end like i tell like a lot of people that i play guilty gear because of the music the music is why guilty gear is fucking sick to me like i mean like it's the music is so crazy like i mean if you like i'm pretty sure like 10 years ago on a facebook memory or there, there's gonna be facebook memories of me saying i play guilty gear because of the music because that shit's true man the, the music every character's theme is like it's just ridiculous man and then this game came out and i was so disappointed man i didn't realize until now doing the survey on how disappointed in the music i am it's not 
like terrible. It's bad. It's not terrible, but um, uh, I don't. <sighs> this one hasn't been impressive. I mean, it's it's hard, man. Cause this game is just like the music, the soundtracks is like the it's extinct. Like it's just every like there's so many good songs, man, and like you know Guilty Gear player when it's like they know what song it is, like cause you know some people are like oh it all sounds the same and it's just how, but you know it's like damn this is Milia the theme from Zert like the the Iron Loot like dude it's like this is the Assassin's Guild theme just like, like you know just like and it's like the the music just it's it's it, it's like the genre is everywhere like. You'd be listening to like fucking holy like a you know Kai's theme and then like Jack's or Slayer's theme comes on. It's like damn, this is like a from like heavy metal to like jazz out of nowhere. That shit's sick. So I'm gonna have to. Uh, it's so I, I don't know. I'm pretty disappointed. I'm gonna have to be real, man. The sound, the sound effects, I don't mind. It sounds like Guilty Gear good the voices i like the voices dude even though i didn't hear that much but uh the voices nothing i don't have nothing but yeah dude so uh, honestly character visuals very good character animations are awesome stage graphics whatever is awesome uh round star win average uh yeah that looks real right i like that that looks good uh please rate comfort of the online battle so is this um is this talking about the netcode is this the netcode if this is the netcode then that shit was fucking compared to other fighting games i mostly play online which is fucking street fighter 5 and tekken 7 this was fucking crazy i'm not sponsored i'm not nothing i'm not like sh like shilling sucking anyone's dick like i'm you know i usually like fucking i know when i i, I see through people I know when people are getting, like, my friend is getting paid to say that the Tekken 7 netcode is good. Give me a fucking break, dude. I'm not gonna say any names of these people, but it's like, come on, man. Like, how, like, how can you say that after Strive, like, this, this netcode is out? It's so fucking crazy, man. Like, after playing Strive online netcode i don't want to ever fucking play a ttf online for street fighter 5 you know what i mean but i'm gonna do it anyway for the people but the online for this game is but i did not have a problem with anyone the only problem i had was when me and hudson were playing but i'm pretty sure it was 100 percent not on our side you know what i mean it was it was it was like it was probably clocks because besides that like this shit was it was fucking whoo that shit was wild, man. Boom, next. How would you rate the control of the game during matches? It is immediately easy to control. It is easy to control after playing a while. It is difficult to learn controls. It is too difficult to learn the controls. Um, I don't know, would say, would you, I, I, I don't know if I'd call myself a veteran player, but I do know like how Guilty Gear works. I guess I would I like, you know, like, I don't know. Maybe I'm a veteran player, but I've been playing Guilty Gear for a while. And I kind of understand the game, so it's not difficult to learn. For me, at least, it wasn't so. And I feel like this game, if I was new to the game, it would be a lot easier. Actually, I don't know, man. Hmm. I'll say, for personal experience, or I'll just say it as in, it is easy to control after playing for a while. Because they did take out the Gatlings, I had to get used, um... I had to get used to it because, you know, in, in Guilty Gear, the Gat if you guys don't know what Gatlings are, Gatlings are just pretty much like kind of like auto combos. So you can press like punch, kick, heavy, slash, and it'll all combo into something. Or like slash, slash, slur, like heavy, heavy. I'm sorry. Ooh, excuse me, excuse me. You can press like kick, punch, 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 punch into like heavy, slash, or H and S, right? But in this one, like you, you can't like pretty much like, they're, uh, they're almost like links, right? They're almost like trying to make you do like real combos and shit in this game. Well, not real combos, but like, you know, you can't just like hit a jab and confirm it to a million other jabs and press like heavy, heavy, and then heavy slash into like a combo. So like with like with uh with um with Leo, what you would do was like you know you line a punch, then you get a kick, then you get a H, then you get a um heavy, and then you get a slash. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm everywhere now. You get a slash and you get a heavy slash, then you get his records right. But in this one, 
you you don't get much it's, it's pretty when you think of when i think about it like leo like doesn't have any big combo like he doesn't have like he doesn't have anything that's like a 10 hit combo or more which he did like in zerd kind of you know everyone i feel like everyone else in this game i mean besides like potemkin and like other big characters like that but like new like new characters like giovanni M uh, mila kai so they have like these 20 hit bnbs but um but with leo you can only get like a crouching jab jab Rekka. it's not even a wreck anymore so i don't know what you want to call it you only get like you only get it's like a, it's like the first hit of the Rekka. They, they 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 took the two parts out so you would only get like a jab jab a crouching jab jab Rekka. um and then you can <clears throat> if you hit him with a low kick you can only get a forward low or um yeah uh forward uh forward kick i'm sorry if you hit him with a, a crouch kick you only get a forward kick for all you nerds out there so you get a 2k 6k and Rekka. But in like, you know, in Zerd and shit, you would have got like the kick, then it would convert into like, you know, five other buttons before you hit into the main combo. Um, I mean, he does have down game combos with like Roman castles and you know, his whole, like Leo's like whole game is fucking, is back turn, back stance turn, right? You know, we all make fun of the gorilla and everything. It's true. Like you just want to be in that, like that's a, it's a very scary stance, man. And they kind of nerfed it in a way as in, um, there's less ways to get into it. I mean, they have a new move, but like, um, you know, you, you're able to get into it easily with like forward heavy slash and then um, he had the... They took a lot of uh, my favorite moves away from him. Like good moves, like the records I miss. Um, when I when I played Strive Online, I noticed that our, I was doing old Leo combos, so I would cancel certain moves, but I couldn't do the combo because the moves were gone. Um, and then uh, his, air, his air knockdown that put you in back stance, but uh, yeah. But I feel like I feel like the game it seems easy, man. I like it. I like it. Just uh, yeah, the galleons. I think I think a lot of people get used to it. I don't think it's that hard. How would you rate the layout of the following screens? Main menu. I don't have a problem. Easy to understand. During battle, I don't have a problem. Don't have a problem. Network mode is very cluttered. <laughs> Dude, why would you even want to? That lobby, like, what the fuck were they thinking, man? Like, in what universe do we live in where that's okay? They totally, like... I don't know. I don't get it. Main menu. I think the main menu is uh, good. It's very good, I guess. It's, it's straight to the point. Fuck it. During battle, I don't... Yeah. Result after match, I don't mind. Command list. Yeah. Character select. <laughs> Dude, that's so funny. That shit is fucking whack as fuck. Um, they don't want to change that. Yeah, I mean, it's not breaking the game though. So, you know, I think because the game comes out like in a month, right? The game comes out in a month. So I, I think it comes to the point where unless the lobby mode breaks the game somehow, unless the like the lobby mode like breaks the game where you know what I mean? Like it like breaks it makes it unplayable and they uh, unplayable and they have to fix it. They're not gonna do anything about it because it's already too far in the development where they're not gonna care if you bitch about it because it's not really affecting the game itself. It might affect the the, the lobbies though, right? It might affect the lobbies, but I mean you can always just do the private lobbies when they come out, right? Because there are private lobbies coming out, blah blah blah. So I mean, in the end, the lobbies might be dead because I don't even think their ranking system is good either, man. Because I think any jobber can get to like the you know the Mr. Certified top floor, but then you get knocked down, and I don't know, man. But then again, hopefully they read at least for the ranking. They're not gonna fix what the lobby looks like, but they might be able to fix the ranking. Then and also remember the game is just it's coming out day one, so it's like all like fighting game. There's not a perfect fighting game. Every fighting game that has come out has been like the first time, like the first version of the game is like bad. You know what I mean? Like something broken, just something that doesn't work. Um, and I guess we're lucky in a way the future where we can fix those right it's not like Marvel 2 you know arcade uh, CBS 2 third strike where that's the game man it comes out and that's it here here's a uh, third strike here's Chun-Li have a good like rest of your life man here's nine years uh, taken away from Chun in tournaments you know what I mean you know here's uh here's MSP and fucking Sentinel Storm and uh, you know what I mean like enjoy the game fucking assholes but then you know and then you know street fighter 4 came out street fighter 4 arcade the vanilla was pretty was pretty fucked up in the beginning but then that that's when like console gaming started beginning like like you know what i mean like it just got better so then they were able to make these changes and tweaks and you know but like yeah i mean 
we can only see what the future holds for Guilty Gear Strive. And then the thing is, like, I think these surveys really do matter because, I mean, COVID, we all know COVID. COVID killed, COVID killed Black, uh, Blaze Blue. COVID killed, uh, Grand Blue, man. Um, you know, it, it did kill locals. It, it, I mean, it killed everything. It killed a lot. It killed people. Fuck, man. But no, all, um, it killed, uh, like, our scene. Fighting game wise, it killed the scene. It killed a lot of games. It killed just competition. It killed, the, it killed a lot of drive. Man, I was in Jesse's. I was in Co Commander Jesse's shot the other day. And I was talking to him. He was playing Valorant. He's like, he's just like, dude, like, there's no point of playing Street Fighter Five, man. It's just, it's a shitty. It's just, it's, it's, you know what I mean? There's like, there's no point. You know, there's no drive. There's a, you know, in the end, we realized that we were only playing, you know, to get better, but also just to hang out at locals and tournaments, man. So hopefully, uh, hopefully, uh, Strive survives, man. And Strive's gonna need people, man. So you know, we'll see what happens. Sadness, man. Okay, which character did you use the most during the beta test? I use the only character that I know how to use is Real White Thing. I only use Tink. Which character did you like the most in Guilty Gear Strive? Uh, where's this dude at? Nagoya Riki was it's one of the. I think this is one of the sickest fighting game characters that have been released in a very long, not a very long time. Um, the two characters that have been, I would say, new characters. Cause you know I'm not gonna lie, Geese was fucking. When Geese got revealed in Tekken Seven, I fucking I blew my load, man. But I mean, he's been around for a long time. He's been like the sickest character, a lot, man. Like every fighting game he's in, I've tried to learn them. CVS, any KOF, like he is the sickest. I think I guess Tekken Seven is the only fucking character, like, or the only time I never try to use them. But um, um, the, out of the new characters, uh, Naga Yuriki and fucking Fukuram. I think Fukuram is one of the sickest character designs in a long time, dude. He's so fucking sick, man. Like. I think yeah these are really he's a really he's a really cool looking character it is insane um tell us about your purchase plans regarding guilty gear strive first later april 9th no less um i have not reserved my copy yet but i do plan on pre-ordering it and i'm gonna buy it twice i'm gonna buy a hard copy and a copy or i'm sorry I'm buying a hard copy for my ps4 and i'm buying it on steam so i can play with my friends because i know all you guys are only gonna be on steam If netcode is super good, um, I like to think when we do TTF online, it's like my my thing is always like um, one of those like would these people actually be here at TTF offline, or are they? You know what I mean? Like I know that sounds kind of fucked up, but I I would probably want to stick it true, but I'll probably do SoCal still SoCal Mexico just. You know what I mean? Like, uh, cause it's just like, I don't know. I don't, it's like, I don't want, I'm, I'm not trying to sound like an, like a, it's not even an old school mentality. I'm not trying to sound like a dick or anything. It's just, uh, it's just one of those things. Like I want the gameplay to be as best as it can. So, you know, just trying to avoid any shadiness. Like, I mean, yes, the netcode is good and I'm sucking the netcode's dick, but I mean, it's not perfect, but just all, you know, in the end, it's just like fucking just. It is what it is. If you are not interested in the game at this time, please tell us the reason why I'm interested in the game. Um, if you are not interested in the game at this time, please. Favorite character or character. I'm lucky enough to have both my characters in the game. Um, Leo, Leo Meyer. <laughs> yeah, I have Leo Meyer in my game. I have a. Uh, I'm lucky enough to have Leo in the game. Um, I'm lucky to have Potemkin in the game, and I'm lucky to have a lot of other cool characters in the game. Um, the price is too high. I mean, fuck, dude. Video games, man. That shit's... I mean, I know that I'm gonna get the special edition and the fucking watching cologne. Like, I, I know what I'm gonna pay for. I want to see some more information about the game first. Dude, what, what do you mean more information? There's like three betas and everything. I plan on buying something else instead. What? Fucking Street Fighter V again? The game doesn't look fun. Other... So, wait. So, do I have to answer this question? If you're not interested... Oh, no. So, I can just... Can I skip this? Ooh. What? Is this more of a if I okay? How about say if I wasn't interested in the game? So if I wasn't interested in the game, let's look at the reasons why. My favorite character, my character during the game, the price is too high. Uh, I'll put other. Other, yeah. I don't want to like, yeah. I, I'll do other because I don't want to like, yeah. You're right, Vince. Because I don't want. What's up, Vince? What's up? Um, because I don't want to like, you know, put anything bad on there. Or we can say the price is too high. We can try to get. <laughs> 
Let's try to get it cheaper, man. <laughs> Let's try to get the game cheaper. Oh, man, the price is too high, dude. Fuck, dude. Damn, bro. Price is too fucking high, man. Let's get this shit cheaper, boys. Um, I want more information. Show me the all the season one characters already. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, dude. Where do you? <laughs> oh, man. Where did you learn about open beta? The open beta. Select all play PlayStation Store. Nope. Website. Nope. Website. It's new. Uh, YouTube. Gina, Twitter, other social media, word of mouth from friends. Where did you learn about the guilt? What did I just do something wrong? Oh, yeah, I, press, I didn't press okay, right? Yeah, my bad. Nope. Um, YouTube, Twitter. Wait, this is new, isn't it? Okay. Please select all Guilty Gear games you have played before this. Uh, I mean, like, like competitively, if not competitively, I played like the original Guilty Gear with the Gaudi a lot, like in junior high. Um, yeah, I guess there you go. Actually, I think I played every Guilty Gear title, but I guess yeah, I mean, fuck it. What influenced you to buy a new game? Watching videos online? No. Friend record? No. Watch? No. Uh, no. 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 I gotta want to play the game, right? Watching videos online. I guess, yeah, it looks cool. It makes me want to play. Right, I can give less fuck what uh, any of you guys think, so why would I fucking care about your recommendations? Watching trailers? Yeah, I guess. Official website? Yeah, right. You don't need an official website. You don't need an official website when every jack off is posting shit on Twitter, social media posts. There you go, man. Game news sites? I do not buy new games. Not buy new games. When purchasing a new game, do you usually do the stamp? Nah, fuck no, dude. Big dick edition, dude. How do you usually buy a new game? Pre-order in person in a retail? I used to do that. Fuck it, we'll do that. No! What was the options? I thought you could pick. Ah! Humbug. Dude, I'm caught in the Tsukiyomi loop. God damn it. Uh, YouTube is this, 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 this. <laughs> Keep clicking on the same thing, even though I'm not... <laughs> All right. Okay. Pre-order store, pre-order through online retailer, pre-order digital versions. Blah, 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 blah. I think now we're gonna have to do. Uh, well, I still do retail. I go to GameStop once in a while. I think we're gonna do online retailer though. This one. What game genres do you play the most uh, these days now? I don't know, fighting, action. Yeah. I guess that's it. Right? Your mom. <laughs> Wait, did that? Did I say only choose up to three? Oh, did I fuck up? I'll let her. What are your favorite fighting games? Choose up to three. That can. Street Fighter. I like Mortal Kombat. Damn, they put Battle of the Grid on here. That's cool. I guess Guilty Gear, right? Guilty Gear Zerd? I can't think of any other, like... These are the two games I play the most a lot. And I like Guilty Gear a lot. I like MK. I like Guilty Gear. What is the most important factor when purchasing a fighting game? Character design? <laughs> story, bro. Character design, setting, story, game system, music, soundtrack, frequent tournaments, events, price, pop player population, good network environment, popularity. Okay. Um, Game system, right? No, wait. When it says game system, does that mean... I'm gonna... God damn it. I'm gonna assume that game system is means how does the, how the game works. You know what I mean? 
Not like the video game system, right? I hope it's not the video game system. Character design? Yeah, I mean, what is Guilty Gear, dude? I think the characters are already too sick, so that's like a waste of a question. For Guilty Gear, if, if we're talking strictly about Guilty Gear, I'm gonna say the music, because the music of this game sucks. I already went into it. The music for this version, the, the music for this Guilty Gear is, is trash. It's not horrible. It's not, it's, it's, it's bad. Compared to every other Guilty Gear, it, it's bad. What are your favorite ways to play fighting games? Joining tournaments and events, playing online. Yeah, no one said no one playing offline, playing single player mode. Can you pick, choose all that play? Okay, boom, boom. Well, if we put playing online, I'm gonna say not playing online. So like, why did this guy say not playing online? We have to make it better. Playing single player mode. Single player mode for the last Guilty Gear. Uh, I don't really care for single player mode anymore. I know there's a lot of people that play single player mode, but for me at least, I don't mind. Spectating matches, playing against friends, against various players. It's not as bad as I thought it was. Like I, even though I was just listening to Naga Yuruki's theme the whole time, it didn't annoy me. I didn't get annoyed by it. Like I didn't get tired of it. It's it's bad, but it wasn't like fuck this song. I'm I'm over it. It was just like whatever, dude. Sayonara, you know. On the average, how many hours of home console gaming? Jesus Christ, man. Is this like in a day? <laughs> There's not 30 hours in a day. Damn, on an hour, how many hours home? I do not play home console games. Dude, I play a lot, man, right? I already have. It's like 15 hour streams, right? It would have. Is this like in a week on average? Holy shit, man. Must put 30 hours, right? Jesus Christ. On average, how many home console games do you purchase in a year? Not a lot, man. I'd say one or two, right? On average, how much do you spend on home console gaming a month? I guess all between. I buy at least more than two than one game in a month. Is this a month? Yeah, we'll just do that. 130. What are your favorite kind of entertainment? <laughs> this is really trying to weed us out right now, huh? You know what this reminds me of? I love Japan, period. Mm -hmm. The tea ceremony. J-Rock! Oh, yeah. Garuga match! Oh, yeah! yeah. Hey. I love... Hey. I love anime! Yeah. Hey. I love... Yeah. Where's this guy at, dude? Is that a guy or a girl, man? <laughs> Maximilian, dude? <laughs> That guy was like, get the fuck out of my store, man. Jesus Christ, dude. He didn't get paid enough for that shit, man. Anyway, uh, what? Okay, I guess. <laughs> Anime, yeah, manga, movies, console arcade, PC. <laughs> what is this, dude? I'm a loser. I get it, all right? I get it. I get it, man. Sports are for fucking losers. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> yeah, watching MFC was oh dude. I <laughs> no. Oh, did I just fuck up, dude? Did I go back too many times? Oh. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go.
Are you gonna get your gaming news? That's what I write. What? Lastly, please let us know if you have any um. I think the game remember when like the first beta came out and then everyone just had essays and they're just mad and that shit I think the game is that's just one the game is amazing the only problem I have is the lobbies I didn't play the first beta but I would say this beta was a an major improvement from the first beta. So I think the game is amazing. The only problem I have is the online lobbies. This beta was a major improvement from the first beta. Is there a podcast today? No, but um, I'll talk about something real quick about that. Um, I don't. For me, at least, I had a hard time telling if the burst meter was full or not. Make anti airs great. Buff Leo's 6P. Alright. I think the game is amazing. The only problem I have is the online lobbies. The beta was a major improvement from the first beta. For me, at least, I had a hard time telling if the burst meter was full or not. Make anti airs great again. Buff Leo 6P. Sounds good with me. That was it. I guess that was it. All right. Well, that was the Strive Beta. Um, I can't think of anything else. I think I'm, I'm really excited for the game to come out with well, April 9th, right? So I would say April 9th is uh is literally like it's is very soon, like a month or so. Um, but yeah, that is it. Um, I can't wait. I had a lot of fun. Um, there's a lot to talk about. I want still um about the game. But uh, with that said, uh, let me know what you thought about the Guilty Gear Strive beta and uh, what maybe you didn't like about it and what you loved about it. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you guys later and peace.